back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and around here we talk about 18th century women's history, historical fiction, and what it's like to be a rookie novelist. I just wanted to take a second to do a very short video about three books that I've recently read that I really enjoyed, and I thought you might like them too. So let's get started. So I've been digging a little bit more deeply into indigenous history and in doing so I discovered this book Covered with Night, a story of murder and indigenous justice in early North America um, by Nicole Eustace. Uh, this book is about Seneca native Sowantani. He is murdered by two fur traders, John and Edmund Cartledge, and after his murder there's a pretty big gap in how the Europeans want to deal with the situation and how the indigenous tribes want to deal with the situation. Um, Dr. Eustace said, and let me get her exact quote, she said that writing this book was a joy. And I have to say that even though it's kind of tough history, it's actually a real joy to read as well. She uses a lot of um, fiction techniques to help tell the story. So a lot of world building and character development, especially some of the women involved in the story. So really good book to check out. Again, Covered with Night. And I'm going to link in the description box below a video of Dr. Eustace talking about what happened in this book and how she went about writing the book. It's really interesting. So if Covered with Night reads like a novel, then the next book I'm about to tell you about sort of reads like an episode of Law & Order SVU. This is The Sewing Girl's Tale, a story of crime and consequences in revolutionary America. And this is by John Wood Sweet. Um, so this is about an 18th century girl in New York, she is really excited because she's going out on a date with a guy who's a little bit more upper class than she is. And it's all going great until he drags her into a brothel and brutally rapes her. The book itself kind of goes through everything that she did following the attack, um, including fighting back and um, you know, really trying to get some justice even though everything was working against her. Um, Dr. Sweet used for his primary resource on this, William Wick's report of the trial of Harry Bedlow for the rape of Lana Sawyer. And what's really interesting about this is this is the first recording of an American rape trial. Um, just like with Covered with Night, I'm going to include in the description box below a video of Dr. Sweet talking about this book. It's really a fantastic read and includes a bit of a jump scare. All right, so the last book that I want to tell you about, I can't actually show you because I borrowed this one from the library. This is a piece of historical fiction by Helen Hollick, and it's called I Am the Chosen King, One Kingdom, Two Men, One Crown. And this is about Harold II, who came to the throne of England and was fighting against William, Duke of Normandy. This was a really fun read for me, not just because Helen Hollick is such a great writer, and she is, but I don't know a whole lot about Anglo-Saxon England. And so her characters and the world she built, it all just felt very refreshing and new. I was meeting a lot of new people and seeing a lot of new places. So that was a lot of fun. Such an energetic and exciting read. So definitely recommend that one. So those are three books that I've read recently that I've really liked and maybe you would like them too. I'm going to include in the description box below a link to a piece that I've written that goes into a little bit more detail about each of those books. And I'll also link to videos of the writers speaking about the books or the historical events that they write about so that you can get a little deeper into things that way as well. As always, thank you for getting nerdy with me and I'll see you in the next video.